Um, I'm going to go into Easton, just because he's got more health. I don't think he has anything super scary. Bubble Beam again, okay. Dragon Rage will finish this. Oh my... What's up, guys? It's BJ Davis here with episode number 8 of our Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. In between the episodes, I looked, and um, I don't think I really needed to level up my Pokemon that much, so I took everyone to 22, except Easton's 21 and Joss is 23, but that's okay. Uh, we'll lead off this gym with Easton, the Yanma, just because Dragon Rage is completely overpowered. And... Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. I think she only has two Pokemon, and I, I'm i going to be around the same level as they are, so I should be okay. But you never know, because that Pokemon could be a Kyogre, and Kyogre is very overpowered. Alright. Let's get into it, baby. Don't be Kyogre. Yeah, and Mega, okay, so it's a bigger Yanma. That works for me. Uh, two Dragon Rages should just take it out. Oh, no. Um, don't miss, please. Just make this easy. Thank you. Um, that did just over half. And he's got speed boost, unfortunately. Uh, our Yanma does not have the speed boost ability. It's got Compound Dive, which is also... Not the worst, because he raised his evasiveness, but I don't think we can miss right now, just because of Compound Eyes. So honestly, not the worst ability. Speed Boost would have been nice, but Compound Eyes is also pretty good. Alright, that might give us a level. That's a lot of XP. No. And Volbeat. Um, I don't think we have anything like especially good for this, so I'm just going to go into Jared. Why not? Volbeat. A couple... Headbutts should just do the trick, I think. Tail Glow, that's kind of scary. But Jared is pretty, uh, pretty bulky. We think we'd be okay. As long as he does half, please? Oh, no. Okay, Quick Attack, that's fine. As long as he's not using special moves, we're fine. But Tail Glow terrifies me. Confuse Ray, that's annoying. Okay, so three of his moves at least isn't a special attack. Don't hit yourself. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. We're switching it back into Yan. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think it's worth it. No. Uh. Yeah, let's go into Josh for the try attack. I think it'd be a try attack. We'll go into Josh here. Quick attack. Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. Nature power should turn into a try attack. Actually, why am I not rock sliding? I should have rock slided. That's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're okay. Can we get a status effect? That'd be cool. No status effect. Okay. Rock slide. Tail glow again. Still just as terrifying as before. Okay, don't miss. Thank you. This should do the trick. Should be super effective. Yep. And we're good. We're good. We made it through Whitney's gym, which is honestly probably would have been harder if it wasn't randomized, but that's fine. No one ever said these fights had to be that hard. Alright. Oh, also, we're gonna get TM. We're gonna get a TM from this. Plain badge. Cool. I really don't care about the badge, though. I just want to see what this TM's gonna be. TM 45. Alright. Oops. Okay. Let's see, what is TM 45? Double kick. Who can learn it? Uh, everyone can learn it, but who would it be best on? Who's weak to fighting? Or, er, not to fighting, to, uh, like, rock? Maybe Yanma, if we have to put it? But I don't think Yanma has... Okay, I'm gonna go in really quick and look at, like, the attack stats of all these Pokemon, because I don't really know them all. Um, 36, not bad. 52 is pretty good, but he doesn't really need the coverage. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Honestly, no one really needs it, except... Mm, I would put it on Meowth, but I kind of like Meowth's moveset right now. So I guess we'll just keep double kick in the... Double kick in our pocket just in case we end up getting a fighting type Pokemon that could make better use of it than any of the Pokemon we have right now. Alright, let's let's get out of here. Not exactly where not exactly sure actually where I'm supposed to go right now. I think north. After we heal. We'll see though. Hopefully we can get a new encounter up there. I'm sure we can. It'd be nice to actually have something in the PC just in case something dies or um, hopefully this doesn't happen, but in case we get wiped, we won't just be done. So, be, having something in the PC will be nice. If we can get it, at least. Also, we're gonna go into Flygon for some Sonic Booms, if we do get a chance to catch something. Let's see, can we go up here? Can we go up here? We can go up here, but is it gonna lead us anywhere? Route 35? I don't think we've been here. And yeah, we gotta, we just gotta fight. So, I'm, we have not been to Route 35 yet. I think we're going in the right direction. One Pokemon, what's it gonna be? Tentacruel. Um, I'm going to switch into Marco for this. Yeah. And we'll, we'll be able to use extra sensory and it should be a one shot. Or at least close. Ooh, that could do a bit. Oh, um, we're gonna try to sleep powder. Toxic spikes is fine. Sleep powder? Yes, it hit. All right. Now sleep powder into the extra sensory. This should do quite a bit. Super effective, and Marco's special attack is kind of crazy right now. All right, one shot maybe. Nope, but. We'll finish it off this turn. And he's still asleep. Perfect. There we go. We're done with the first fight on Route 35. Honestly, kind of scared me a second when I got hit uh, with the poison type move. But Marco's kind of tanky. Even though, I guess not for special defense, which Acid is a special move. So, he took it a lot better than I thought he would. Okay, and... Um, I want to keep Alex in just because I don't want to forget to bring him back in if for that grass over there. Okay, what is this? If I get my picture taken, do I get anything? I don't think I do, but you never know. Ooh, we're bringing out all the Pokemon for this. Okay, it's just he puts it on the PC. Okay, I, I don't care. Ooh, double battle. Okay, we'll go Flygon and Easton. That's a, that's a little nice combo there, Flygon and Easton. Like on a Yanma. Oh, is it not a double battle? I don't think it is a double battle, actually. No, it's not. Oh, he ran. Okay, that's scary. Um, except. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Honestly, I don't really have anything that good for this, so we'll stay in. And Sonic Boom? How much is this going to do? Half, at least? Just under. He... I forgot, he's not flying. That's fine. For some reason, I thought he was part flying, but he's not, so we're good. Ancient power again, that's fine. One more sonic boom will do the trick. Actually, we're going to faint attack just to make sure we hit. Not very effective, but still should kill. Yep, perfect. Okay, Masquerade, completely fine. Um, get, we'll get me off some levels here, or at least some experience. I think he's getting kind of close to evolving. I think he evolves in the mid-20s. Why does Masquerade have Intimidate? That is so weird. Oh, that does nothing. I meant to fake out, I accidentally double-clicked there. But that did nothing. I mean, we can just keep chopping away at him, because I don't... Think he's that big of a threat, and he's just keep using sweet scents. So that's fine. 
We'll just keep cutting away at him. Oh, quick attack. Shouldn't do that much, though. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Except Meowth is not doing very much damage. This is kind of a chippy fight. Honestly, feels like an early game fight where I'm just spamming my first move and he's spamming his first move over and over again. Until someone dies. Jeez, Meowth is not... Oh my god, we missed again, yeah. This is why Meowth needs to evolve sooner rather than later. Uh, we'll go into... We'll go into Margo to finish it off, I guess. Probably another quick attack. Yep, and Marco's got good defense. He tanks those. Uh, absorb, hopefully, to get some health back. Oh, that's a crit. I don't think it's super effective. I think he's part bug as well. I think he's water bug. Or not water bug. Actually, he's flying bug. He switches. That's That was a dumb switch. Um, but it's not that big of a deal because we'll just exercise sensory. I, don't, I forget that he loses his water typing when he evolves. Alright, there we go. Jeez, our Pokemon actually starting to take a good chunk of damage in these fights, and it's getting scary. Oh, I did not mean to go on that right away. Luckily, Flygon's not weak right now. Okay, how many do you have? You have one as well. Actually, I think you had two. Suicune, okay. Um, I don't want to be in on a Suicune. I want to go into, I guess, Josh, because I think he should, his move should be Earthquake, if I'm not mistaken. Bubble Beam, perfect. Yeah, we switched that well. Oh, that still did a lot. Okay, it was a crit. Earthquake, right? Yeah. Perfect. The fact that Nature Power can turn into Earthquake is... Very beneficial. Oh, that didn't do much. Oh, this is kind of scary. A little earthquake again. Oh, double leer. Not ideal. Are we at a speed tie? I swear I just outsped him last round. We might be at a speed tie. Either that or I just wasn't paying attention. Can I do a crit and just end this fight? No. Um... I'm gonna go into Easton, just cause he's got more health. I don't think he has anything super scary. Bubble Beam again, okay. Dragon Rage will finish this. Oh my... <sighs> he's making this so much harder than it needs to be. Okay, I think his best attack is just Bubble Beam, cause he still used it on Nuzleaf, so we're switching into Marco. He should be able to tank this. Oh, okay, bite, he's got good defense. This fight is giving me anxiety. Finish this, please. Okay, good. That crit scared me. Everyone's getting some level, some experience here. Four, four of our Pokemon were involved in that fight. Um, what's our health looking like? Yeah, I should go back and heal. Got, I think, three or four under half. That is not safe. I want to go as long as I can without losing a single Pokemon. Hey, maybe I, maybe I can do a flawless, uh, flawless Nuzlocke. That'd be cool. Not likely, because I'm actually pretty bad at this game, but... We'll see. Right now, what is this, 8? Episode 8 and still haven't lost anything? Keep keep our fingers crossed on that one. We've been close a couple times, though. I've just been very cautious with where I put Pokemon out, which I think has been helping quite a bit. We still need our Pokemon on this route as well. We haven't caught anything yet. You just need to get past these trainers at the beginning. I don't think we have a fishing rod, so we can't fish there for anything. I do want to fight all these trainers, though, because since we have six Pokemon, it's kind of easy to get underleveled. I want to make sure we stay ahead of the level curve. Okay, you got three. Swablu. That's fine. Flying Dragon, but I don't think it has any dragon moves, and it's very underleveled compared to us. So a Frantichak should just take it out. 
Especially because Flygon's so strong, yeah. Cast form. Um, it'll start out as a normal type. But I think I'm just gonna go to Easton and Dragon Rage, because I think all these Pokemon, since he's got three, you're gonna be a little under leveled, so Dragon Rage should one shot. I think. I don't know, Le level 11 might have over 40 health. I'm not really sure what Cast Worm's stats look like. Nope. One shot at him. Does that give us a level? It is, level 22. Ooh, and he's only trying to learn Supersonic. Uh, we'll do that instead of... Double Team could be good. So we'll do that instead of Detect. Ursa Ring. Oh, this, see, this is where it would have been nice to have the uh, Double Kick, but it's not really necessary because we can just go into Jared and, and tank literally anything he throws at us. We can just headbutt him down and it'll be perfectly fine. Fake Tears, is that defense, or is that attack down or defense down? Special defense, that's fine, because I don't think he's got any special moves. Flinch. Can we get another flinch? You can. Nice little flinch chain there. Look at that, Jared's a tank. I'm enjoying using, uh... Shield on way more than I thought I would. He's just so reliable, and you can put him in in so many different situations and be confident that he can take a hit. It's nice. Plus, he can't get one shot, which is helpful. Salamence? Okay. Oh, level 2. Thank God. One quick attack should do the trick. Why is he level 2? Oh, we don't have quick attack on fly on. Well, Sonic Boom will do the trick as well. I was worried when I saw the Salamence, but for some reason he's level 2. I wonder what that was supposed to be. Kadabra. Yeah, he'll stay in and faint attack. Honestly, we actually, we really should have went to uh, Meowth and used Bite to get some extra experience, but it's whatever. He's only level 7. It's not that big of a deal. Couldn't lose on more than 100, right? Well, 217. That's not bad, actually. And a Suicune again, but this one should be a little lower level than the last one, I'm assuming. Unless for some reason he's like 25, and that'd be kind of scary. Oh, 15, that's not bad. We're just gonna absorb, because I'm... Because I'm scared to do anything else. Hopefully this does around half. It is super effective. Mm. Bite, that's fine. Yeah, crit, and only did 11. Honestly, we might heal all of that from this from this absorb right here. Or at least close to that. Yeah, almost all of it. 69, nice. And... Finish him off here, perfect. That Suicune was a lot easier than the first one we saw. Alright, what's this last Pokemon gonna be? Wurmple! See, this is where we can get some Meowth some experience. Not much, and Meowth is kind of weak, so we need him to fight these weaker Pokemon, but uh, not much experience, but we'll take what we can get on him, honestly. He'll be so much better when he evolves. His base stats are just not good as a Meowth. Oh, okay, we got another number, that's fine. Okay. One more. Maybe two if we have to fight that cop up there. And then we can get our Pokemon on this route. But do. Um, honestly. Sonic Boom him twice. Probably twice. I can't imagine he's got less than 20. Stun Spore, that's annoying. That's actually very frustrating. Okay, let's, uh, Sonic Boom again, I suppose. Even though we're paralyzed, don't... Okay, we're fully paralyzed. One more. Absorb, that's fine. Still, we'll get the one-shot. Er, not the one-shot, but we'll still finish him off this hit. Thank you for not paralyzing. Alright, what? He's only in one more Pokemon, right? Ride on, um, switch into Marco here. Actually... No, I'm going to Easton. 
Ride on's defense is so good. I'd just rather Dragon Rage through it. Level 18, Ride on. Unless. Oh, Ride on might have a rock move and we might be dead. Stomp. Oh, crit. Uh, we outsped. I'm gonna. Thank you. Thank God. If Rhydon had... I was not very careful there. If Rhydon had a rock move, we were dead. Honestly, if Yanma gets hit by a single rock move this entire, like, playthrough, he's getting one shot. He's quad weak to rock and his defense really isn't that good. Okay, back-to-back -back people that want me... want my number. That's great. Uh, we're gonna switch out a flag on here. Ah, no, we're not. We'll, we'll stay in a flag on. We'll just use a little... Quick little, uh... Paralyzed heal. I think we have some. Yeah, we have four. Let's see. Does this cop up here want to fight us? Please don't. But I think he does. Yes, he does. Oh, I just want to see what Pokemon I'm going to get on this route. <laughs> I just want to see what Pokemon I'm going to miss on this route. Bellsprout. Honestly, two Sonic Booms might kill this, and this thing. Is Actually, one Faint Attack might kill this. What am I saying? It's a Bellsprout. It'll be close. Yeah, one faint attack will take him out. It's a good thing I didn't uh, Sonic Boom there. And a Laron? Why can I not think of what Laron is? I know it's a... Uh... Oh, it's like the baby Agron. Right? I'll just stay in. Oh, maybe it's not. Or maybe it's the evolved Agron, not the baby Agron. Agron is the baby. It's the evolved Agron. Metal Claw. It should be... F actually... Yeah, it should be fine. And another Sonic Boom. And then a Faint Attack to finish him off. Faint Attack. Alright. I think that was the last, right? Cause what was his first Pokemon in this fight? I can't remember. I believe this is the last Pokemon in this fight. Yes, it was. Okay. Finally, we make it to the grass. Oh, and there's another trainer in here. Okay. Um, be do or be barrel. Uh, not ideal, but we'll take it. It's a Pokemon at least. Just under half. That's actually perfect. One more Sonic Boom, and then we switch into Tangela, put him to sleep, and then catch him. That'd be great. Um, switch into Marco. Roll out, that's fine. Sleep powder, perfect. Now I can start chucking balls. Honestly, be, be, be barrels over there looking kind of thick. Okay. Honestly, I don't think we'll need anything other than Pokeballs to catch it. Considering it's uh, an evolved Bidoof. Yeah, I didn't think so. We actually caught a Pokemon there with a little strategy. Granted, it wasn't a great Pokemon, but... It's still there. And what are we going to name it? We're going to name it... Uh, we're going to name it Ignacio after one of our good supporters here on the channel. Ignacio, there we go. So we actually we actually have a Pokemon that we can uh, use as backup in case we all die. Perfect. Oh, Meowth has got another item too. What is it? Hyper Potion? Okay, he's starting to get better items there. Oh, Sprite Glitch. Okay, let me save. Okay, we're back. I don't know why that happens, but it does every now and again. And... It's annoying, but it's also not that big of a deal, luckily. Hippopotas. Um, I think we can kill this with Meow, probably. Can lead with a fake out. Get the flinch. How much is this gonna do? Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna hit it with, I guess, a bite to see if we can get another flinch. Can we? No, we cannot. Honestly, we might fall here to a hippopotas. 
Just kidding. We should be fine. Yawn? Okay, I'm switching out now. I would rather not fall asleep and take chip damage from the sandstorm. Uh, we'll go into Jared for this, so he won't take sandstorm damage. Tackle, that's gonna do one. Yeah. Sandstorm, that shouldn't do anything to either of us. Yeah. And headbutt? Finish it off here? Oh, it's on one health. That's fine. There we go. Jeez, this cry is really weird. Alright, we gotta get Meowth out of the front here. Why are so many people wanting my phone number this episode? Honestly, I should just be saying no to everyone so I don't get many phone calls, but it's whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll lead with Josh, because, uh, since we're in the grass, I think his nature power will be Seed Bomb, and that could be good. Could be good, depending on what's in here. Um, uh, Bag on. That would have been cool. That also would have been hard to train, but that would have been kind of cool. Honestly, I think I'd prefer the Bee Barrel, though. Okay. Please be something good. Dusk Ball. Not good. Not bad, but not good. Anything else down here that we can grab? Anything over here? No, we have a Pokemon over here. Rhyhorn. Uh, we'll just kill this one. Seed Bomb should do good damage to him, right? Yeah, it's super effective. And it one-shots. Might get decent experience. I mean, only 230. Not great, but it's not terrible. Okay, is there a reason this little patch it doesn't have... grass? Nope, there's no hidden items here. Interesting. Seems like a spot where there might be. Alright, um... Can't go down here. Do I, can we fight this guy? We can. Shuckle. Um, we can just uh, hit this guy with a little nature power earthquake. I think it's super effective as well, right? Nope, it's not. I don't know where I thought that was going to be super effective from. Encore? That's completely fine. Because we're just going to encore into a kill. Stupid Shuckle, you led yourself to your own death. Ooh, look at Josh's health. I just noticed that. Nice 69 out of 69. And a Spinda. We'll just stay in for this as well. Give Josh some love here. Oh, I didn't realize Encore still lasted after uh, the Pokemon that used it died. Well, okay. Not that it matters, because Earth I would have done the same thing anyway, but still. Ooh, and we get a level... Uh, no new moves, though. Okay, is there another Pokeball? Oh, there is. Splash. What a great TM, guys. That's beautiful. I don't think I would have wanted anything else. Right. Is there anything else I missed? I don't think so. Oh, wait, there was a cut tree. I want to see what's behind that cut tree. And we got another... Another encounter. We're just gonna run from this one. Ooh, Shellos. That would've been cool as well. Alright. Run away. I wanna see what's behind this cut tree. Probably nothing, but you never know. What's it gonna be? Maybe a Pokeball? No, Route 36. Um, I don't think I'm really supposed to be here yet. Maybe I am. But I'd rather just go through the go through the gate over here. I might that might lead me to Route 36 anyway, but I'd, I I kind of want to just go through the gate and see what's on the other side of the gate first. That might just be a shortcut, but I don't really want to skip trainers. All right, let's run through the rest of this. Where is this taking us? This is a little pit stop in between route. Oh, wait, this is going to be like the, yeah, the, the pokey thing. Sure, I'll give the bug catching contest a try. I don't know how this works. I have 20 minutes. 
I can catch one, I think, right? Hopefully it doesn't, this doesn't, like, lock me into the 20 minutes. I don't think it will, but you never know. Alright, let's catch Pokemon up here. Paris. That's exciting. <laughs> That's so exciting. Oh, I can only use Josh. Um, ball? Just catch him. It shouldn't be that hard because he's a Paris. Great. Perfect. That's all I wanted. Um, Paris. You look like a Carl to me. Caught Paris. Okay, I'm done. Can I retire? Retire. Oh, I have to do a little thing, too? Oh, I got third. That's fine. Ooh, Scyther would have been nice. Scyther and another Scyther. Alright, at least we got third. Do we get a little prize? A Citrus Berry. Well, it's better than nothing. Yes, we do want to nickname the Paris. And we're going to name him... Oh, it's a girl? Whoops, not lower. We're going to go... If he's a girl, I guess we might as well name him, or her, Carlina, for the culture. Uh, can we move, please? We can, okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, so if we go right, is this going to take us into that Route 36? I think it will. So maybe we were supposed to be there. Yeah, we were. Alright, I'm all. I'm actually going to stop here, though, and we'll begin, uh, we're going to begin the next episode at this point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you did enjoy, I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.